Off the last episode, Asia is spiraling, but she is trying not to be in her feelings or even acknowledge any feelings because her mom is coming today. She is going to work until her mom arrives. She's basically playing the waiting game. Okay, so as you can see, Asia is over there <laughs> waiting and Ella is about to arrive. So let's just say yes and have her get here. I'm nervous. This is Ella, everybody. Oh, she's inspecting the house as soon as she gets to the door. Oh, my word. Smelling. She's like, hmm, okay. Asia is cleaning up after herself. Oh, and I'm just gonna walk back out. Asia's not even doing, she's just standing there. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, Asia's dizzy. Oh, Oh my gosh, Edward, no. Oh, she's saying hi to Newton outside? Huh. She's like, pets don't belong in the house. <laughs> Let's say hi. So when we were welcoming her, she went straight to our dryer and started it. Like straight to the dryer. She didn't even... <laughs> she didn't even say hi. Wow. We made her dinner, so we're gonna... Like, get that ready because it's almost 6 p.m oh well, at least they're hugging that's a good sign oh is this the food you make for me mm. and then <laughs> asia's like oh nice weather we're having isn't it she's like oh yeah actually you guys have a really great weather here i mean it's not better than brindleton bay but yeah and asia's like okay mm, let's eat so, how was your flight? Oh, no more nagging. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you have a good time, like, flying? She's like, oh, my gosh, the flight was crazy. There was so much turbulence, and I couldn't handle it. Like, you just need to buy your own private jet if you have the money. <laughs> Delightfully deceptive? No, Asia. You don't like deception. You were deceived by K Kiyoshi, so no. You don't like that. Is Ella gonna eat? Oh my gosh, she's nagging her about her job. Oh no. She's like, so are you still pursuing that writing career? Because I think you should be doing something else. My word. Aggravating conversation. Feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. Are we even family? From a difficult family dynamic. Yeah, oh my word. What is wrong with her? I just thought it would be different. No more nagging. And her tampon is leaking. Oh my gosh. Now it's about her clothes. How could you dress like that, Asia? Did I not teach you how to dress properly? You need to be in proper clothes. Not what you're wearing right now. Asia went to go change her tampon. And she's like, I'm going to go take a walk. Because I can't handle this lady. I'm going to break down. And I... I can't afford to break down so i'm gonna remove myself from the situation so i can calm down and then come back and have a conversation with her or at least try okay asia's back and um they are trying to i guess make up her mom is like oh i'm sorry um your house looks decent you know it needs a little bit more color but yeah you did kind of a great job um i think maybe i can send you our interior designers like number if you want asia's like yeah oh, oh okay that's a backhanded compliment wait she did not eat her food and now she's angry because she went and picked up newton's poop literally not what we asked for i think it's time for ella to go to sleep so we can have our own time oh my word it's just been it's never stopped since she's gotten here it's been one thing after another and it's just the first evening i think she needs to leave early tomorrow because uh-uh Asia, you should hug Newton. He's like your emotional support right now. Yeah. 
put away the laundry because your mom will be like oh you just don't know how to put away laundry as well okay asia's sleeping so is ella and we can't wait for her to leave already okay next morning and we're gonna buy a lottery ticket asia has this like nervous laugh and she had a nightmare of course she had a nightmare your mom is a terror yeah you should definitely <laughs> we're so lucky to have newton because emotionally he's keeping us together let's take care of ourselves as well by drinking water so we don't faint in front of our mom so she thinks oh you you don't know how to feed yourself either and then we're gonna buy a lottery ticket so hopefully we can win the lotto and move even further away from our mom we're gonna make her breakfast of course we don't know if she'll eat it we're gonna make her breakfast and take newton for a walk smooth sipping okay great we're making her eggs and toast because we know that she likes it we also made a dish last night that she liked i'm glad she's still asleep so we can do this in peace without her like hanging over our shoulders saying oh you're doing it wrong and surprisingly asia loves cooking because she has good memories of cooking with her mom as a child and so she actually loves it but the one person she tries to impress with her cooking just could not care less oh oh she's actually gonna eat she's like hmm this is not bad i mean it needs a little bit more seasoning asia went for the walk and she's gonna psych herself up to have the actual talk with her mom tell her mom how she actually makes her feel because we can't do this we can't keep going like this okay girl you got this yeah so mom um i don't appreciate that you've come into my house you basically have told me that backhandedly that it doesn't look great and you just make me feel worthless you know i don't like that i don't appreciate that about you oh i don't mean to make you feel worthless you're my child of course i want the best for you asia you just don't understand you don't understand the world we have tried to protect you from the world but now now you just decided you're gonna do your own thing yeah yeah i'm trying to and it's going so well is it really is it going well asia I'm just really worried. I'm worried because you just don't know the truth. Things can be really, really hard. Things were hard for me. Things in this industry, or when you're creative, things don't always go as smoothly. I understand, mom, but I just want you to give me a chance. I've already achieved so much. Just, just give me a chance. Okay, Asia, I will. I love you, but I have to go to the airport now. Let's take it slow. I feel emotionally burnt out, but today is about Brianna and I need to be here for her and do my best.
Last night left me even more confused. I'm hurt, confused, and questioning myself. And after my mom's visit, I need to go to therapy. The last few days have been so, so confusing for me. I don't even know where to begin. Am I enough? Am I worthy of love? How can Kiyoshi actually do that while I was there? Should I be surprised? Because he basically expected the same thing from our first date. You are not to blame for anything. You are not in control of other people's feelings, only your reactions. This makes me even more upset. Just thinking about it makes me angry. I deserve better. And I also am angry at myself because I feel like Brandon is a great guy and I just was more attracted to the looks of Kiyoshi than anything. It's good to acknowledge all these feelings but it's also very important for you to speak up for yourself. With Kiyoshi, you need to tell him how you feel and then decide on where that relationship goes. Okay, so we're taking our therapist's advice and we're going to call Kiyoshi. This is the day after our therapy session, but we're going to call him over and see what happens. Okay, let's see. What a nerve-wracking episode today. Is he going to come over now? Oh, there. He's here. Okay, let's see. Her and her nervous laugh. I wanted us to talk about what happened on our date. I am so disappointed in you and in myself, but why? Why did you do that? I thought our relationship was going somewhere. Please make me understand. What's there to say? I mean, we're not in a relationship. I wanted to do something, so I did it. I don't owe you any explanation. We haven't gotten that far. That was our second date. Regardless of whether it's our second date or not, how do you do that to a person? I don't think I can be with you. Well, good news for you, sweetheart, we're actually not together. I think I need you to leave right now. Well, that was a bit of a disaster. Oh, no. Oh. The first guy that we oh. thought was good for us or rather that we found attractive kind of messed us up i don't know whether i should be grateful that it was only the second date and we didn't get too deep into it or not but yeah that is done and dusted she's quite sad and depressed about it though hello oh of course newton our <laughs> emotional support is helpful Brandon asked us to go out for dinner. Just a friendly dinner though. So we're gonna go and meet him right now. Okay, we just arrived at the restaurant. It's like a brunch restaurant, but we're obviously not having brunch because it's dinner. But uh, Asia just told Brandon, oh, I just want something like brunch. And this is an all you can eat brunch place and it's open 24 hours. So. He was like, oh, I found this really good place. Let's go there. I found this on the gallery and I'll have it in the description, but I kind of changed up the deco. I will show you the inside now, how it looks on the inside. I didn't do too much. I just changed up a bit of it. Not very big. I just didn't do that much. Um, I want us to sit outside. So I would like us to request this table, please. I would like us also to uh, control Brandon. Mm, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Hold on, hold on. She got... Wow, that sim uh, Asia Meadows just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at brandon ross that man has so many of the qualities that make asia's heart raise <sighs> wait i am i'm surprised i don't think she should flirt i don't think she's in that like frame of mind look at brandon guys brandon got a makeover he looks so different um but as you can see they just relaxing nothing major even their attire uh as well um let's get brandon to oh no please let's all sit steady here sit steady here because sims just don't know how to act honestly 
Okay, Brandon, I would like you to ask her, hey, like, you were quite sad at the wedding. Are Ooh. you okay? You seem even more sad now. Um, wait, we're going to do this uh, one. Oh, Jabin oh she's Swampish. already. Barsip Neebs. Jabin. Soy. Sibu. Ah. She's already. Skino? Okay, so. Yeah, fruits. Mm, bright and day. Oh, she, he was trying to flirt with her? No, let's not flirt today, okay? <laughs> I don't think she's in the right frame of mind. Yeah, let's share our emotion. Talk about, like, emotional... Oh, connection between the two of them? No. <laughs> I don't think they should do that. Uh, friendly vent, okay. Vent about relationships. And then he can order for the table. Let's see. Asia's definitely gonna want some alcohol. For sure. Oh, he's like, oh my gosh. He, he said what? Oh, wild orchid. That's for Asia, for sure. Um, He's driving, so he's not gonna have anything to drink because he actually lives in a different city now so he has to drive home so he's gonna have um, some sparkling water for now no drinking and driving and oh he's gonna have some shakshuka and she will have of course poached egg the fried eggs and toast Trauma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just oh my oh my gosh, she really thinks he's attractive. <gasps> wow. Oh, he's for that. oh, she is. <laughs> I thought he would be older. What is he saying to her? Oh yeah, Arva. Who's calling her? The Alza. Oh my. We need to stop. <laughs> People need to stop with these prank calls. She's flirty. Famous. Wow, she really likes <laughs> Brandon. Oh. Okay, let's Kiss ask Brandon no, how he's been doing because we Plus couldn't really me. speak Skinsballish. um yesterday no. at the him. wedding. Come but as you guys far. saw, she actually Ponson. came to her Garage rescue when she was alone Body and like, crying because she oh, yeah. just wow. felt like oh, I wish this was one day gonna be me and she's happy for brianna she just was having a hard time with it Haley, smart and i just had a blast thank you for your advice oh i i gave you advice dad i can't remember a that break lent him. but okay <laughs> so um and he's gonna <laughs> say oh this is like my job um is doing really well i actually want Came to up. apologize to you <laughs> because Last time, I just oh, left without telling you where I was going, and that wasn't fair. It's just, I, I felt like you were just disconnected, and I felt like you were just doing me a favor every time we hung out, so I kind of just distanced myself. She's thinking, oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a really bad of me. I was not nice. And oh, our food? Oh, yeah. oh, why did they lose their friend? Oh my gosh, did he just drop our food? Oh my. Dude, pick it up. Oh my gosh. Anyway, he's like, I'm sorry. And I just want us to start from scratch. Like, what do you think? What do you think about us just getting to know each other as friends first? Um, converse about, talk about life, yes. And I think, oh, she's saying, yeah, I would actually really like that. I think that's a great idea. Us just starting fresh as friends would be really good. And um, I would appreciate that. He's like, yeah, so I read your book. I actually really loved it. It was a mystery, wasn't it? Because I had no idea you had that in you. That's incredible. I was Is the same thing going to happen? He's coming again. Let's see if he drops it. He better not drop our food, Mister. Don't do it. It's 9.15 and you're hungry. Don't drop it. 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 
But the chef didn't do anything. Oh. What is she saying to <laughs> Asia? Oh, uh, listen to Asia's insecurities. He's like, hey, don't worry. Like, things will look up. Yes, that guy is not worth it. Soon. Oh my gosh, I think our food is coming finally. He b oh my gosh, I'm so nervous that this man is going to drop the food. Look at him. Uh, is Brand what is Brandon discussing? Finally. Oh. That is so frustrating. Like, genuinely. Oh! <sighs> hey, we talked about non exclusive relationships recently. And that gave me the courage to ask you could we have a non exclusive relationship? Are you joking? We literally. <laughs> this man. This man has the nerve. Guys, Kiyoshi is a douchebag. Like, plain and simple, that's what he is. I'm not interested now, sorry. Oh my gosh, even... They want more? Asia's partner asked her to open their relationship. Asia can only feel like she is not good enough. Why can't they simply be together? Them too. Why would they need to have an open or polyamorous relationship? Asia feels committed to her partner. You guys are not partners, okay? Just, no. Definitely not. That is not your partner. That that guy is... I'm so shocked, actually. Just tell Brandon about it. Oh my gosh. Eat your food, Asia. And, oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> Brandon really likes us. Like, so, so much. Say, let's talk about emotions um talk about emotional dreams like i had this really weird dream uh, where an eagle was flying over me like repeatedly and i had no idea Genja what the Fassar. problem is i felt it's like i was being hunted what do you think that dream means and she's like oh maybe it's about your work <laughs> maybe oh he flirted <gasps> he flirted with is she gonna take yes, it yes I'm soon oh. Brenable again. Oh my gosh, I didn't I didn't tell them to do that. Sick of food. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's almost midnight, so we probably should um get home soon. Um tell him about your recent nightmare as well. Like, when my mom came to visit and I just felt like uh, I had a dream about me falling. Have you, have you ever experienced any stressful events recently that could have triggered that nightmare? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Brendan, you're an expert. Yeah. So many stressful events. <laughs> but that also could be because you know what has been happening with us. Is he not going to eat his food? Eat your food? Oh, oh, no, Brandon. Yes, it's time for us to make passionate woohoo. She had said yes. We're not doing it. Oh. No. Rina. Oh, he's asking if we're doing well. Oh, my. It's time for us to go. Yeah, he had asked us for woohoo, and she said yes. No, no, no. It's time for us to go. It's past midnight now and i would like us to pay for our food and go home yeah brandon it's been real is it hard for them to just sick of foods she's like listen i'm gonna go yeah he's like i'm gonna go to can you guys see that the depression part is gone it's gone. I don't want us to be excited because we got excited about Kiyoshi. Although Brandon has been here since the beginning, right? I just would like us to take it slow. Um, this is what a beauty. Oh, from the cocktail, uh, hot dinner date. It was not a day, okay? Sexual desire. 
such a oh my gosh that was because she said yes to the woohoo oh she still has the depression one um central heating she's happy let's see um okay yeah feeling happy from cheerful trade flattered a genuine compliment always oh did he compliment her uh jittery over those nightmare jitters she had a nightmare and oh she's a bit tipsy and this one is from kiyoshi i don't know why he thought that he could ask us for that that's ridiculous actually yeah change into your pajamas okay guys so let me know what you guys think about this episode it was kind of intense not kind of it was intense the wedding was great um sorry i couldn't record the wedding full on but my wedding stories is still not working that well i tried i recorded that wedding like three or four times and it just wasn't working so yeah also we've grown so much i can't believe that we're almost like at 140 uh subscribers thank you so much and welcome to everybody that's new i'm really enjoying this i'm gonna try and upload asia twice a week and then live canvas twice a week i'm gonna try um if i can't do it i'll probably just do once a week for each thank you so much and i appreciate you watching and being here i'll see you guys next time bye I'm scared.